Hi guys, my name is Christine, and today I'm talking about it's not what you are doing, it's the way that you are doing it, right? So if you're trying to achieve something, if you're trying to um, have more success at something in your life, then it may not, if, if things haven't been working, it may not be, um, you know, what you are doing. It could be the way that you're doing it. So there is a um, NLP technique for success, and basically it goes like this. So the first point of this NLP technique is to know your goal, right? What is your outcome? What is it that you want to achieve, right? And be precise about it. So for example, it could be like a weight loss goal, you know, write down how much you would like to weigh. Um, If it's like a business goal, then perhaps it might be earning a certain amount of money by the end of the month um, or by the end of the year. Um, so and get and get precise about it. Get exactly how much you would want to earn. Um, if it's um, something to do with social media, then maybe it's like, oh, I'm going to make 500 posts this year on social media for my business or whatever it may be that you are trying to create attraction for on your social media pages. Okay, so know your outcome. Okay, the next part of this NLP technique is to take action. So start taking action. Start throwing out attempts right, to try and make this work for yourself, okay? So taking action could be when it comes to uh, like a weight loss goal, perhaps it's exercise and your nutrition, your diet, right? For um, uh, you, a business that you may have, it might be creating posts for your social media page, or it could be um, doing a number of, you know, it called, actually calling people up and getting them on the phone if you, you're into sales or something, and you have to do some cold calls. So take action. The next thing to do is to figure out if it's working. Okay, so ask yourself, is it working? Is this actually um, producing, is this action that I'm taking producing results? Okay, so the way that you measure this is by, um, you know, let's say, for example, you know, for example, what I do with YouTube and stuff, um, it's very easy for me to measure how well I'm doing by views and subscribers and things like that. So you may have to find a metric for you that can help you see if you're making progress. Obviously, when it comes to things like weight loss, then a good way to ch- check your progress is by weighing yourself every week. You know, so you know how much you've lost that week. Um, you know, with um, social media, it could be the amount of likes or the amount of ga- engagement that you're getting on your posts or things like that. Um, if you're doing cold calls because you're a salesperson, it could be, um, you know, how many yeses you're getting when you do those cold calls. So figuring out, is it working? Okay. Um, and if it's not working, you have to change your approach, which is the next point. If it's not working, change your approach, try something a little different. Now, of course, what you've got to remember is, is that sometimes you need to give yourself a little bit of time. So, um, cause you might, cause for example, like you go to the gym once, you may not be able to really tell effectively if what you're doing is working from just one trip to the gym, right? And it's the same with other things as well. Sometimes you need to give your actions a little bit of time, right? Obviously it depends on the action. For something like a weight loss goal, then perhaps um, you, give, you give yourself a month. You stick to a diet and you stick to an exercise routine for a month right? So track your weight at the beginning of the month, and then by the next month, see how much you now weigh. Now by a month, you should have been able to have lost at least a couple of pounds. And if you have, that's great. Keep up with it, right? Because obviously you don't want to lose weight too fast or anything like that. Obviously it depends on how um, overweight you feel like you may be, if if that's one of your goals, obviously. So you'll know that it's working if you've lost a, a few pounds. Um, so, but you, but again, you need to do it for a month. You can't just do it once and then, you know, expect there to be amazing results. You can't expect to eat one salad and expect to be thin. So you may need to give yourself some time. So give yourself some time to figure out if this is actually working for you, right? Um, with a more of a business goal, perhaps you need to give it a bit longer. Perhaps you need to give it about six months, do that, those specific actions for six months. And if you can't see that anything's working, then you change your approach in some way. Now, changing your approach doesn't mean that you change your goal. Changing your approach may just be like, um, you know, promoting things in a different way. Um, It could be, um, if for exercise, it could be 
Um, you know, perhaps you need to tweak, tweak your diet a bit, or perhaps you need to tweak your exercise regime a bit. Um, perhaps um, you're still, let's say, um, you're still having a chocolate bar here and there. Maybe that's the thing that's preventing you from losing weight. I don't know. But, you know, it's, it's figuring out, okay, what are some things that I can tweak to get a better result? Okay, so if, if it's not working, if the actions you are taking are not working, change your approach. Do not change the goal unless for whatever reason you don't want that goal anymore. Um, so, so don't change the goal because usually most people still want the same outcome. But um, the problem is, is that perhaps they're doing the, the wrong things or they're doing thing, the right things, but in the wrong way. And they just need to keep on tweaking until they get that sweet spot where it's actually working. Okay. So tweaking your action is really important if things are not working for you, but do give yourself a good amount of time to, to actually see if it will actually work, okay? So essentially then a bad plan is better than no plan at all because you can always learn things and tweak things along the way. So it's better to have a bad plan than have no plan at all. It's better be taking action. It's better be taking the wrong action than taking no action at all. Okay, because you can always change things down the road. You can always, you know, change different um, aspects. You can always tweak your plan. Okay, so another thing that can help as well is to fill in your knowledge gaps. So perhaps uh, if it's like a business thing, perhaps um, when you're speaking down the phone, you sound too nervous or something like that, then maybe you need to go and, you know, get some coaching on uh, doing better over the telephone or something like that. You know, so fill in your knowledge gaps like what are the areas that would make you feel a lot more competent in if you learn those things so figure out what your insecurities are figure out what you're not so great at that you know would be really beneficial to you start getting really good at that and um, you can uh, train yourself basically to become a lot better and a a lot more well-rounded shall we say okay so fill in your knowledge gaps what are the areas that you really need to know more in Um, because that can really help as well because sometimes it can be just a little gap a little space in your knowledge that you need to fill in um, that can actually make all the difference sometimes i think it's also a good idea to um, get some advice from someone else like for example you could um, get someone to let's say you've got made a project right get a friend or someone who um, won't be won't be basically um, blowing sunshine up your butt basically right get some get a friend get someone that you can trust that you know will give you an honest answer and show them what you're doing um and see what they say because maybe you've got a bit of a blind spot and you don't know what you may be doing wrong so sometimes it's a good idea to get advice from other people and show them your work basically and see if basically they can see something that maybe you can't and then once they say to you oh yeah maybe you should do this or maybe um you should cut out doing that and maybe that will be what you need to basically get a better result okay so it may not be what you are doing it could be the way that you're doing it and sometimes that and figuring what that could be and figuring out okay if i just do it in a different way perhaps that will Um, make all the difference in the world and um, maybe then you'll start to see better results because it might not be what you're doing it could simply just be the way that you're doing it okay so don't be afraid to tweak your action don't be afraid to fill in your knowledge gaps um, because sometimes those things are absolutely necessary to become more successful in whatever you're trying to do and to accelerate your growth Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.